Science Review, Ecosystems and Communities. For number one, the balance between heat that stays in the biosphere and heat lost to space determines Earth's average temperature. This balance is largely controlled by concentrations of three gases found in the atmosphere, carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor. These gases are called greenhouse gases. Question number one pertains to the effect of greenhouse gases. Thus. The answer for number one is letter B, increase in temperature. For number two, let's define all the given choices. For letter A, weather is the day-to-day -day condition of Earth's atmosphere. Whereas letter B, climate, refers to average conditions over long periods. Letter D, microclimate, refers to varying conditions over small distances. Thus, the answer for number two is letter D, microclimate. For number 3, let's define all the given choices. For letter A, canopy refers to tall trees from a dense leafy covering. Whereas letter B, taiga or boreal forest, pertains to dense forests of coniferous evergreens along the northern edge of the temperate zone. For letter C, niche describes what an organism does and how it interacts with biotic and abiotic factors in the environment. Lastly, for letter C, understory refers to the layer formed by shorter trees and vines. Therefore, our answer for this number is letter A, canopy. A while ago, we defined taiga and boreal forest. To answer this number, we have to define also letters C and D. Savanna is a large flat area of land with grass and very few trees, like in Africa. While tundra pertains to a layer of permanently frozen subsoil, sometimes called as permafrost. So the answer for this number is letter D, Tundra. The answer for this number is the distance from the equator. Near the equator, solar energy is intense as the sun is almost directly overhead at noon all year.
Letter A, C, and D are all factors affecting global climate except for letter B, longitude. So the answer for this number is letter B, longitude. For this number, the answer is letter B, niche. A niche describes not only what an organism does, but also how it interacts with biotic and abiotic factors in the environment. To answer this number, let's define all the given choices. Parasitism refers to the relationships in which one organism lives inside or on another organism and harms it. Mutualism, on the other hand, refers to the relationships between species in which both benefit from each other. For letter C, competition exists when two or more organisms rely on the same environmental resource. Lastly, commensalism refers to a relationship in which one organism benefits and the other is neither helped nor harmed. So the answer for this number is letter D, commensalism. The answer for this number is letter B, parasitism. Ticks live on the bodies of mammals feeding on their blood and skin. It obtains all or part of its nutritional needs from the host organism. That's why it is called parasite. A while ago, we already defined commensalism, competition, and parasitism. Let's define this time succession. Succession is a series of more or less predictable changes that occur in a community over time. Ecosystems change over time, especially after disturbances, as some species die out and new species move in. So, the answer for this number is letter D, succession. For this number, let's define all of the given choices. Keystone species refers to the changes in the population of a single species. Climax species is a product of secondary succession in healthy ecosystems following natural disturbances. Primary producers are organisms that have the capacity to make their own food from inorganic substances. Lastly, Pioneer species refers to first species to colonize barren areas. Therefore, the answer for this number is letter D, pioneer species.
For this number, the answer is letter A, competitive exclusion. In competitive exclusion principle, it states that no two species can occupy exactly the same niche in exactly the same habitat at exactly the same time. If two species attempt to occupy the same niche, one species will be better at competing for limited resources and will eventually exclude the other species.